Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast with Jane Rogers, where we discuss science to help prevent cognitive decline. Welcome back to the Cutting Edge Health Preventing Cognitive Decline podcast. In this episode, we take a deep dive into the latest research to maintain our memories, from drinking pomegranate juice to using a hyperbaric chamber. This is all research that comes out of the UCLA Longevity Center at the Semmel Institute for Neuroscience and Human Behavior. Its director is Dr. Gary Small, and he's our guest. For the average person, Genetics, sure, that determines your brain health as you age, but non-genetic factors are even more important. So those little decisions we make each day, should I have a side of broccoli or should I get the French fries? Uh, Should I take a brisk walk this morning or should I sit down and watch television? Those have an impact on how long and how well we live. There's no question about it. The earlier studies on hyperbaric oxygen didn't pan out, but some more recent research suggests there may be a there there. We're not entirely sure why, but you know, I'm an agnostic when it comes to research. I don't know. Let's do the studies and see where it takes us. And one of the studies you did too was on pomegranate juice. I saw in 2020, yeah. you published that. So tell us about pomegranate juice and how that might help us. Pomegranates have antioxidants and One thing we know is our brains age, they undergo what's called oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. So this causes wear and tear on our brain cells, these pesky little so-called free radicals, these ionized elements in our bodies will destroy DNA, they'll destroy uh, the cell walls. And if by ingesting pomegranates, blueberries, any colorful fruit, that helps to counteract that oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. We we found a positive result in that study. Uh, It wasn't overwhelming, but still it seemed to help to some degree. Mm -hmm. Are you drinking it every day? Try you know, it. I'm not, but I, you know what I do uh, use do every do? day is I, I use curcumin. We did another study where we looked at curcumin, which is a spice, a 5% mm-hmm. of turmeric is curcumin and people use this in their cooking and so forth. And we got interested in it because there had been studies showing that in India, there are lower rates of Alzheimer's disease in older adults. And in the laboratory, the chemical properties of curcumin ticked all the boxes that were important for keeping your brains healthy. I mentioned antioxidation, also Mm -hmm. it's anti-inflammatory. It seems to also have an effect on dampening down the abnormal proteins that collect in the brain in Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. 